FA Trophy disappointment for AFC Telford United this afternoon. They've drawn in normal time 2-2 with Darlington here at Blackwell Meadows, but have gone out on penalty kicks at the end of the game. And I have manager Gavin Cowan with me. Um, Gavin, I sent from that. You're obviously never happy to lose in a knockout competition, but there's a lot of positives there today. Yeah, I think more than a lot of positives. You know, I think the, the performance from the lads, their attitude and their application was magnificent. It should have never really got to penalties. You know, it's, um, it says something when you've got the opposition manager and players, you know, almost a bit embarrassed and you know congratulating you on your performance at the end. Really, it's a um, very strange day. It should never have got to penalties, but you know it has done. Um, I feel for the players more than anything. You know, with the journey and then putting in putting in that performance and not getting what they deserved. It was uh, yes yeah, tough for them. So I'm, I'm gutted for the players because. You know, they were brilliant today and I can't ask any more of them. Was it, the message would surely just have been t from Tuesday night just to continue the work, what you've done on Tuesday? Yeah, no, absolutely did. You know, I think, you know, how many times have we hit the bar, the post, we missed the penalty today. You know, I suppose it's just that detail in front of goal, you know, having a little bit of composure, um, just taking a breath, in, you know, and, and, and seeing the game out really. We should have saw the game out really towards the end as well. But, yeah, real dominant performance and uh, we certainly took, out, took on from from uh, Tuesday night and, and again it should be into the next round but but not to be yeah I mean uh, I spoke well one of the obvious positives from that we spoke about performance from Aaron Williams and obviously penalties a bit disappointing but two goals took another one in the shootout so you know didn't show any nerve about taking one of those again that must have pleased you yeah I'll be disappointed to miss an open play um that'd be his hat trick and probably the game over but Listen, he, he's played really well again today and um, maybe we've had to go to where we've been to get to where we are today, you know, and uh, he's, uh, he's working really hard, which is all I ask really of the players, you know, show that attitude and that application and everything else, the game strategy, the detail is all a bonus. So they apply themselves brilliantly. It's very hard to ask any more of them, you know, maybe you need that little bit of luck with Dom's strike it in the, it in the bar. I think he has hit the bar twice today and James Hardy's at the post and Jordan as well. So there's been numerous opportunities I think you know we've had we've had 17 attempts on goal uh, 23 crosses uh, the stats speak speak really reflect the game um, and again like I'm, you know of course I'm deflated I'm, I'm a winner and I want to win games but I'm gutted for the players because they really deserve to win the game today sure. I mean there's a bit of disappointment in perhaps you know that early goal and going behind but the response to that was terrific wasn't yeah it? It, was, it was their first attack you know again we, we really set a precedence and and the lads were on we were in the ascendancy you know we'd, i think we'd have had a chance we'd had a chance by then and we started really well so it's just yeah just detail really little little bit of concentration you know and we went we went behind early but credit to the lads they showed fantastic character to to really take the game by the scruff of the neck but i say, I say that they took the game by the scruff of the neck actually they they started by doing that you know it was uh, their first breakaway and they got a goal and yeah of course that's disappointing and we need to be better there but you know it's hard to criticize the lads today you know i thought they were fantastic and they certainly deserved winners of the football match sure i mean um adam walker came off in the second half and i know um that he had, had a problem with his ankle after the the game on tuesday night as yeah. well so was he any doubt before today was no any... not so much a doubt he's, he's he's turned his ankle he's got his sore ankle ligaments so he you know he's a warrior adam he, he's um he's a bit old school so he's you know he, he'd have done well to stop him playing today you know um but yeah, he just got to a point, he pulled me at half-time, didn't want anyone else really to know, and then just got to a point where he just couldn't handle it anymore, you know, the pain of running through, and uh, yeah, you know, we've got, you know, someone in, in, in Bondi who's just, you know, fantastic in himself, so, you know, natural replacement, and the game didn't really change too much, so, um, yeah, Adam just needs to get a lot of ice on that, he'll be nursing that on the way home, ready for next week, hopefully. Next week, you mentioned, we, we've got a break of uh, a full week now and, and come yeah. back with, with the game against Chester on Boxing Day. And I mean, uh, in terms of the players' preparation, I know that you know you trust them to look after themselves yeah. and, and, and be ready to go again next Saturday. Yeah, we'll be in twice next week again as normal. Um, uh, the lads know of it and you know are expecting it. So listen, we've got jobs to do. It's going to be we've got a tough tough time over the Christmas and uh, New Year period. We've got tough four games in front of us now, and we've really got to apply ourselves. But if we bring anything like that today, then we give ourselves a great chance, you know. And uh, any team will struggle with us on our day if we play like that. Okay, that's brilliant, Gavin. Thanks for your time. Cheers. Thank you.